deeper indoctrination as an insidious means of corrupting organic minds, reprogramming the brain through physical and psychological conditioning using electromagnetic fields, infrasonic and ultrasonic noise, and other subliminal methods. The Reaper's resulting control over the limbic system leaves the victim highly susceptible to its suggestions. Organics undergoing indoctrination may complain of headaches and buzzing or ringing in their ears. As time passes, they have feelings of being watched and hallucinations of ghostly presences. Ultimately, the Reaper gains the ability to use the victim's body to amplify its signals, manifesting as alien voices in the mind. Indoctrination can create perfect deep cover agents. A Reaper's suggestions can manipulate victims into betraying friends, trusty enemies, or viewing the Reaper itself with superstitious awe. Should a Reaper subvert a well-placed political or military leader, the resulting chaos can bring down nations. Long-term physical effects of the manipulation are unsustainable. Higher mental functioning decays, ultimately leaving the victim a gibbering animal. Rapid indoctrination is possible, but causes this decay in days or weeks. Slow, patient indoctrination allows the fall to last for months or years. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. You start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security!
You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Spectre. We do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. And their voices were silvered with fear. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. Fear has shattered their minds.
Shepard! In here. Need to adjust settings manually. It's too dangerous, Morton. We need to get out of here. No. Temperature variants could destroy cure. Time running out. Have to go up. Morton. You're not going up. Not concerned for my safety. Concerned I might discover something. Sabotage? But whose? Ah. Uh, why, Shepard? That desperate for Solarian aid? Or that afraid of Krogan? Every time we've talked about this before, you've defended the genophage. Hell, I had to talk you into saving Malin's data. How can you change your mind now? I made a mistake! I made a mistake. Focused on big picture. Big picture made of little pictures. Too many variables. Can't hide behind statistics. Can't ignore new data. My responsibility. Need to go. Running out of time. Morton. Walk away. Can't do that, Shepard. I don't have a choice here. Walk away, or I will fire. Not your decision. Not your work. Not your cure. Had to be. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. No time for it. Cure this person imminent. Must counteract sabotage. Stop me if you must.
Structure malfunction detected. Boarding. Temperature malfunction detected. No. Not. Not ready. Rex. Shepard. Visitors are prohibited from bringing weapons into the... Ugh! What are you doing? I know what you did. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Where did you get that? Morden wasn't my only source in STG. Or did you think I was as dumb as my brother, Reeve? What have you done? Why would I betray you, Rex? I've known you a long time. It's you and me, taking on the galaxy together. But words aren't going to cut it this time, Shepard. I will honor our friendship, though, by shooting you in the head and making it quick! And before you die, I want you to know I'm calling off our support for Earth. If my people go extinct, so do yours. It doesn't have to be this way, Rex. It should have been this way back on Fermire. But I made the mistake of trusting you, believing you were my friend. I was a fool. <laughs> ah! Ah! I know what you did, Shepard. What the hell pissed him off? I don't know. He just went crazy. We can confirm that the Geth are no longer being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth fleet has stopped firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the Creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will. Each Geth unit would be true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? No. I can't risk the Quarian fleet. Not to save the Geth. Shepard. They're trying to flee. Stay on them. With these upgrades, our fleet could retake Earth. We could assist with the Crucible. Please, this is not justice. I'm sorry. No, we will not allow you to decide our fate. Uploading the code. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm sorry, Legion. Talisora, does this unit have? Yes. Yes, it does. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So, the elusive man was right after all. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. Indoctrination can create perfect deep cover agents. A Reaper's suggestions can manipulate victims into betraying friends, trusting enemies, or viewing the Reaper itself with superstitious awe. Should a Reaper subvert a well-placed political or military leader, the resulting chaos can bring down nations. Anderson. Shepard! I can't! You cannot resist. I underestimated you, Shepard. What a... Your form is fragile. I sense your weakness. I warned you. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. You will regret your resistance, oh. Shepard. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Controlling me 
is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Shepard, submit now. Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. I will show you true power. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I... don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because... we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. Embrace perfection. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? This is true power. Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. You will no pain, Shepard. There is no pain. There is no fear. Pain is an illusion. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them. Made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. Why do you resist us, Shepard? You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! <clears throat> they have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other, instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. You cannot stop us, Shepard. I tried, Shepard. Failed. We will find another way. You have only delayed the inevitable.
Troia. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected. But those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved. But your thoughts, and even your memories, will continue. That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proved that. I destroyed that base because I didn't trust you with the information. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Work with me. Give me control of your resources, and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most, but the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. Shepard. How did you find this place? The Archives. Or did your Shadow Broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard! Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? You've been spending too much time with the enemy. They're dragging you over to their side. Their way of thinking. No. I just... see things differently. If you truly care about humanity, you'll stop fighting me. You'll join me. 
Don't ever question my intentions. I've sacrificed more for humanity than you'll ever know. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You've forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic, but as usual, you miss the point. The world is more gray than you care to admit. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict, once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah, we all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? You think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the Catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is... admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you, working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Hmm. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the Crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework, a new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the Crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it, not forever. 
You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. You're asking me to change everything. Everyone. I can't make that decision. I won't. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? That's beside the point. Your time is at an end. You must decide. No. I'm gonna end this war on my terms. Then you will die knowing that you failed to save everything you fought for. I fight for freedom. Mine and everyone's. I fight for the right to choose our own fate. And if I die... I'll die knowing that I did everything I could to stop you. And I'll die free. So be it. The cycle continues. 